Hey guys. So uh, I just got a little miscellaneous update. I'm going to put a few things out there. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a knife drill that you can work on at home to work on your double cuts. And then I'm going to take you out to the chapel and show you some of the recent improvements that we've made out there. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of, wow, the sparks are flying, a little bit of a lesson about uh, transformation and what that, what that might look like. So by the magic of editing, so I've got a stick here attached to my, to my forging post so that I can practice my double strikes. So when attacks are coming at me on the eight-pointed clock, we got an eight-pointed combat clock, when they come at me from two and three, so one, two, three, then I want to cut up and then cut down and then be prepared to stab to the face after that. When they come to me at, say, counting around the clock, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, when they come at me from seven, eight, then I want to go here and cut and then cut down and then be prepared to stab to the face. So I can practice these easily by coming to here and then I get in my position. Then I practice cut, cut. And then back to the face. Then I can come to this side and then I don't know if you can see this. I'm hopefully not blocking the camera. So I come to here and I cut up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, you cut twice because, as you can see, I missed a couple strokes. You can miss, even against a static target. So you want to stop. Now, some people will say, well, why do you want to cut up and then cut down? I want to keep my hand alive to deflect anything that I might miss. And then furthermore, what I want to do is I want my hand up because if I cut here and I miss, then I want to have my arm interposed. I'd rather take a cut here than I would rather take a cut here. So I prefer to cut up. Now if I'm cutting down, that's a whole other thing. And then I would have to obviously reposition the stick if I was going to practice down cuts. But these are just, I'm just practicing position two, three, and position seven, eight. And I can do that really fun with this. And then back here, I can do here, here, stab, here, stab, and Well, there you go. So much for my fun. Anyway, um, always remember to wear eye protection if you're practicing live cuts. I've got my glasses on for wood chips. And beginners should probably wear gloves, too, just in case. You know, these days, I've been doing this long enough, I don't usually wear gloves. But certainly something on your eyes against wood splinters probably be helpful. And then, you know, if you have a problem with your grip and you have people nearby, Probably not a good idea. Welcome back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out to the chapel and we're gonna take a look at the little shrine to St. Mary that I finally finished up this past weekend. Yeah, so I finally finished the uh, shrine to St. Mary. I think it turned out quite nicely. I still have to hide the electrical supply down there and I've got some tools sitting out still so pardon the mess but we're making progress I think it turned out nicely if you guys ever want me to burn a candle for you to pray for you just let me know I'm happy to do it just make a note in the comments here on the video or send me an email at mitch at heritageartsinc.com and uh, let me know what's concerned you, what you'd like for me to pray for. And um, I'd love to pray for you. And light a candle, either here in the Shrine to St. Mary or over there in the Shrine to uh, Archangel St. Barakiel. I mean it. I'm not kidding. I think sometimes people think I am. 
Now, let's step back outside to the fire and we'll talk a little bit about your personal transformation. Hey, welcome back. So, let's talk a little bit about transformation. The classic example of transformation is the butterfly, the, the caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. And it's a beautiful image, you know, there's this butterfly, there's this caterpillar and it, it might be a little ugly and a little funny and then it emerges as this beautiful thing. But what we don't often think about is the fact that maybe the caterpillar doesn't realize it's about to transform. What if the caterpillar goes into its cocoon not because it knows it's going to transform, but because it's afraid, uh, because it's exhausted, because it's an instinct, or for some other reason. I mean, if we extrapolate this to you as an individual, then think about it this way. What if that's the way it's going to be for you? What if you have to let go of everything that it means to be a caterpillar in order to become a butterfly. You know, the caterpillar is not going to eat leaves anymore. It's going to feed on flower blossoms. It's going to be reaching into the center of that flower for nectar. So, it has to give up on the things it used to enjoy. It used to be able to crawl around on the tree and have an entirely different experience than flying around. If it's going to be able to fly, it's going to have to give up on those old things. The same is true for you. So you're going to have to be prepared to give up a few things in order to transform. There are lots of things that we like. We might like, you know, if we're going to lose weight, we're going to have to give up on some of the foods that we like, perhaps, or at least on the quantity of food we used to like. Um, if we're going to embark on a new job, we're going to have to let go of the old friends that we had at the previous job. We have to be able to let go sometimes of our hobbies, uh, let go of our bad habits. Certainly there are a lot of forms of entertainment that we know are fun that might not be good for us. Drugs, alcohol, um, maybe there are some habits, gambling, or uh, that, you know, toxic girlfriend or boyfriend. So you're going to have to let those things go. The old you is going to have to be let go in order to move forward. So the transformation process won't be all beauty and fun and flight. There's going to be maybe some scariness to it. Don't be afraid of it. Go forward with courage. Make the value judgment, the choice, to let go of the unproductive you and embrace the new you. Thanks for watching. Take care.